Today I finally find the new Toyota Corolla Sports Touring GR Sport 2023 facelift with a new multimedia system and a new cockpit. And in this video, I will try to explain you as many details as possible. Technical data, interior, exterior will be a short review because I plan next days or next week to make a proper review, test drive, interior, exterior. I hope I will find the car, but I, until then I will give you as many details as possible. And I'm not a big fan of these kind of reviews here in the showrooms, but I'm here at uh, Salzburg, in Salzburg showroom, and I try my best to do this review for you guys. So now, let's start with the technical data, first of all, and then we will go to the car. I hope I don't get a copyright because of this sound, <laughs> because of this music. The model that is here, it's the GR Sport. That means it comes with a two liter petrol engine. The petrol engine power 152 horsepower. Also, the total power with the electric motor and the petrol engine 196 horsepower. Also, the price of the car, at least here in Austria, depending on which country you are, the price may be different. It's 37,690 francs at Ufag. I will leave the link in the description if you wanna uh, check them out if you're in Austria. I really recommend you, they are super nice. Good, now with what options come the car? Those options come standard, I will present you. But optional, you have this platinum pearl white. Of course, it comes with GR Sport standard and safety package. Safety package is included. That means all that safety features, adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features will come with the car. Now, let's talk a little bit about the exterior of the car. In terms of exterior, if you're not a well-known of Toyota cars uh, and Toyota Corolla, uh, previous version, you won't notice too many difference. But if you look closely and if you know it, you will find out that this facelift come with a little bit of changes here and there. And most of them are made uh, on lights and are made a little bit on the body. They make it a little bit more slimmer, a little bit more sleeker. And also the bigger improve are on the multimedia system and also on the engine. You know, Toyota always come with small changes small changes that make a difference you know like what other car company they make big difference big changes but in general why you should change something that's already work for example the hybrid system in my opinion it's one of the best hybrid system in the world uh, on toyota cars and i don't know why you should change this you should improve it uh, step by step but not change it and also Toyota is kind of conservative with the design and with the uh, facelifts and that's why probably they still keep this look. And also the look of the car, it's nice, the aerodynamic and the design of the car work really well. And I think they did a good choice when they didn't change too many things on the car, design lines and stuff like that. But a few changes that we can see on the exterior are on the lights. And I wanna show you right now, if I turn on the lights for a second right here, I want to show you the lights design and also the turning signals. I know you're curious about that. And before I show you the lights, I want to show you also the key. This is the key GR on the back and those are lock and unlock buttons. So kind of the same key here as well. Now going in the front, you can immediately see if you know the previous version that the grille it's a little bit different, it's a little slightly bigger. The lights are also different, have a different design. Mm -hmm. The car comes also with LED lights, high beam, low beam, fog lamps, turning signals, LED lights, very good lights also on the previous version. And also if you look from this angle, you can see that the nose, it's a little bit more aggressive in this area, so slightly different. Also they improve a little bit slightly the aerodynamic of the car. Also from this angle, the car looks fabulous with those rims. We will go there in a second. And in general, the car looks nice in this combination of white with black roof. So yeah, this is my opinion, super, super nice. Good, going to the upper part. Here we have some camera and sensors. The camera can read the traffic speed limit. It works with all that safety feature, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, reading the traffic speed limit. And also there are the sensors for light and raining. Big windshield, I like that, that means good visibility. Very simple. The upper side of the car in black, glossy. We have some roof rails right here and everything is black flat. Also the radio antenna, quite nice, modern and glossy. 
the roof spoiler also simple and the same as the previous version here we have the top light it's the led as well tinted windows on the side of course also on the side of the windows we have some rubber in black and also tinted windows i like the the a pillar that it's also in glossy black so it fits quite nice with the contrast you know white and black it's a great great contrast here we have also a wiper Toyota logo, we don't have any more the blue insertion there on the GR Sport. Here on the right side, we have the GR Sport writing and hybrid under, so you know which version it is, Corolla. On the back, also slightly different lights this time. We have LED lights, turning signals, fog lamp LED, and also the tail lights, it's LED light. They look super nice also, a little bit improved in terms of design there, uh, and they look a little bit nicer than the previous version. Anyway, the back of the car looks super, super nice and aggressive. And also I like, what I like the most of the car is the bumper down there. I think this is the, the nicest element that I find it on the exterior of the, of the car. Here we have some light reflectors. The car come with four parking sensors on the rear. And also this part here looks just fabulous, the glossy plastic. This, this design here, it looks a little bit like an Audi uh, RS. Uh, and also I like the, the middle part down here, quite, quite nice design. The back down of the, of the car. And also we have an aluminum plate here that I make the car look a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more different. And I like that element there as well. Another thing that I like very much is the downskirt here where they add this little piece, little element of uh, black glossy and also it's extended a little bit, make it more sporty. Uh, the fact that it's made for a special different uh, plate, it's great because if you scratch it, you can change it. You can see it's not the body of the car. You can actually take it out from here. Also some protection here in this area. Uh, it's very, very welcome. The mirror cap, very similar with the previous version, black LED lights, blind spot technology, big mirrors, the same mirrors, kind of the same handles right here, quite simple and nice and also good quality. Uh, here in the front LED lights, you can see different design on the, on the front lights, high beam, low beam LED, uh, down here fog lamps LED, this is the new grille, looks splendid, I like it. It's big, it's nice, glossy plastic, some kind of uh, chrome, dark chrome here element, some chrome down here, lovely. Also the bumper look really, really nice. Um, I like it, I really like it. Stand out a little bit more, also nice lines from the side here, from this angle you can see uh, the sharp edges. I like the white color because you can see every single sharp edges and sharp line that the manufacturer created on the car. Beautiful rims as well, they fit super nice with the car, 19 inch rims. A ventilated brake disc on the front, normal brake caliper. On the rear, we have normal brake disc or, yeah, normal brake disc, normal uh, brake caliper. Quite simple and nice. Also uh, here, uh, the tank, it's also normal. Oh man, it's so hard to do this review with that music in my head. It's like, it's, it's super hard. This is the tank, also very simple. They don't put too much energy in those small things that doesn't matter too much. And I like that they put energy in the things that matter. For example, the engine, you know. Let's go in the front. Let me show you the engine bay here. This is important. This is the thing that really matters. Also, this color, it's, it's super nice. I love the white pearl on the cars. It looks really, really nice. This is a manual lift gate, but I like the fact that they make it super light. It's mega light. And on also all the Toyota cars, this hood is quite, quite light. There is the battery uh, and the, no, there is the fuse box, sorry. Uh, you can see the fuse box right there. Uh, and here is the engine, guys, the two liter engine combined with the electric parts. You can see the electric parts, electric motors down here. And also the liquid uh, cooling, it's here in the left side, the liquid for wipers and the cooling as well. Yeah, other than that, uh, this is it. Not big change in the in the front here. Good. Let me close it. Let me go in the back. I want to show you the space. In terms of space, quite quite similar. We have a manual lift gate in the trunk here on this model. Also two handles to close it. 
Here you have a big entrance. I like the practicality. It's it's gorgeous. Uh, nothing to complain in terms of uh, of practicality. Look how big is the pro. Look how big it is. I mean the entrance. It's it's quite quite big. You can fit in wherever things you want. You have a flat floor. I love that. This is super practical. Some plastic at the entrance. Some storage space in the left side. Huge space here. Also you have a 12 volt port. Super useful. LED light. I love those LED lights. Look at them. They are super super fancy one of the most fancy LED lights in a car so Toyota step up the game a little bit with the lights I like the handles that allow you to fold down the seats uh, completely there you have some protection here for the trunk and also you have the other one that you can put it up for example if you have a dog or something like that you have this uh, net right there then you have some small storage space here where you can put different items and you have also the space down here where you can put a spare tire really yeah a spare tire huge space for repair kit all other stuff you can put it here without any problem want to fold down the seats no problem in one second you have a completely flat floor and when i say flat floor it's a flat floor look at this perfect right love it you can see from here also the ambient light on the doors but really flat it's really practical perfect great job Toyota. not only that it's a good system but it's also very practical the entry from the side it's pretty big and also you can see one more time the space from the side here really everything is flat i like the way it comes uh the seats and i like the fact that they, they really straight out here really flat and you, you still have plenty of storage space on your legs so this is this is awesome great great job uh now if you want to put back the seats you can do it without any problem because you don't have to hold all the time the seat belt the seat belt will stay here it has his own space and i like that very much this is a great great thing anyway let me close this and let me go forward now on the doors two windows one can be fold down electrically and i want to show you that the key is in my pocket and the car it's screaming actually because of the lights and put contact here you know detected oh come on man now come on now it's on but yes just like that i want to show you also the how much you can fold down the seats look at this completely this is great let me close this the quality on the doors on the upper side here you have soft material everywhere it's not leather but it's soft then you have the red stitches here you have leather and red stitches handle the button for the windows storage space down here this is the speaker the entrance here in the car relatively big also good quality material on the seats um, and also they look relatively good and relatively comfortable i will go there and i will show you we have side support leather here here we have stuff material in the middle and leather on the side headrest is in leather is a fix for child you can install two child seats here the armrest two cup holders right here on the armrest behind the front seat leather storage space and the the space on the legs it's great because the transmission tunnel is not that big that's if i <laughs> if i still have my my rucksack in the front there i have to check it out from time to time now whilst i'm going inside i really escape from that music you know like uh the sound insulation is that good i can hear barely hear that music so that's good that means good sound insulation visibility it's perfect look at this huge window in the back there big windows here good visibility this is my space four fingers four and a half fingers over my head i still have a hook here handle uh, quite nice the quality on the roof mm, is not that good i would say seven from ten uh, but it's okay it doesn't matter nobody stay with your with with hands on the roof two led lights huge big led lights i like them so that means good visibility in the in the night time i'll leave it like that actually the space room on the legs look at this more than enough space and this is uh in my driving position and you can see here plenty of space i can play with my legs on the front seat 173 centimeters if you wonder how tall i am uh, here we have some vents in the middle and then nothing down there going in the middle transmission tunnel is that small you can stay with your legs together oh i love that i didn't expect that that's good good space here on the knees and on my head i have less space three fingers 
stretch my hand completely stretch my hand completely relatively good space a little bit stiffer down here not so on the on the back it's fine but on down it's a little bit stiffer short trips medium trips no problem will be just fine now we will go in the front and we will talk about the new multimedia system the new cockpit and the dashboard it's quite similar but the way they integrate those two uh, look really nice <laughs> by the way you probably wonder why it's android there uh, why it's uh, apple carplay there because i connect to my phone to make a video to show you and if you want to see that video um check it out because it will be on the channel if it's not already click the subscribe to see when it comes anyway let's go in the front here we have a big window and a small one one fix and one can be fold down the quality on the door here is quite similar with uh, on the rear part here we have soft material the same kind of a i'm not sure if this is leather or something else but we have this stitches here in red here it's other different leather this is for sure leather and then again uh, stitches in red here we have the buttons for the windows uh, also lock and unlock adjustable mirrors electrically fold mirror electrically some glossy plastic some chrome here story space relatively fine i wish it was a little bit bigger here is the speaker here is gr on a nice aluminum plate i like that normal pedals no aluminum pedals that's a surprise a little bit and then we have manual adjustable seats you can adjust it in every position you want you can see also big entrance right here you can see the seats uh, design gr uh, seats they look great sporty super attractive i like them very much you have side support here you have some kind of leather on the side and fabric material in white fabric material in the middle side support up there you have a gr writing right here i don't know if you can see it red stitches some uh gray plate also here and actually a silver um gray silver bright design uh the seats are quite quite nice anyway down here you have also the buttons for automatic high beam the trip the heated steering wheel the heated windshield the car come with a heated windshield keep this in mind great for the winter and it's integrated here traction control here we have plastic in this area we have the vents that feel quite good soft material on the upper side also manual adjustable steering wheel up down left right in every position you can adjust it manually this is also okay uh, also i want to close the door let me show you the visibility around the window it's perfect you have a handle a microphone a place here with a uh, led light it's a big mirror i like that then you have a big mirror here with good visibility in the back also up here you have like led lights i like that and an sos button around the window by the way visibility it's quite good really nothing to complain about that in the back you can see one more time the seats from here from this position and here you have an armrest also in leather you can adjust it forward backward you can open it up like that you have plenty of storage space you have a USB-C and a 12 volt port down there two cup holders some glossy plastic some some silver um, here's the sh gear shifter it's kind of a stick they still keep this stick I want to see something smaller like a shift by wire transmission uh but it's okay driving mode from here you change different driving mode and you have the button for ev mode so if you want to change you have three driving modes you have like echo normal and sport mode so every time you change it you can see on this new digital cockpit how it looks Char wireless charging in the front there and uh, buttons for heated uh, heated seats gr star stop engine button i like that it looks nice soft material and leather everywhere here i like that as well the glow box is big you have an led light also in the glow box there lovely it looks great here's the climatic system the same climatic system as toyota use it also on other models pretty simple and uh easy to use with physical buttons also good quality this integration is very similar with toyota uh, Corolla Cross that you already see on my channel great great grip on the steering wheel I like the steering wheel I like the grip I like the leather I like these little little uh, holes here and red stitches look super cool physical button uh, to control different function on the cockpit and those are physical button to control the adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features good now let me show you the cockpit <laughs> I, you see it already because I reviewed it already uh, I think uh, a few weeks ago but i still want to show you in the middle you can see and uh, message errors you can see different information adaptive cruise control mode uh, you can go in settings here and from the settings you can uh, change different settings like all that safety features you can activate and deactivate and 
from here you can go also in vehicle settings uh, where here you have also some extra settings i don't want to go too much into detail because i don't have time today but i will have the car for more time and i will go in deep in details but those are the same settings as you find on corolla cross you can also uh, somehow um, customize what you like to see on the middle on the left side and also what you like to see in the in the on the right side in the middle so you can see also a lot of information much better much more customizable than uh, toyota uses with so it makes small steps forward from my point of view and i like that as i said this is the connectivity uh, but i'm not going to show you that in this video let me show you the uh, multimedia system the car uh, doesn't come with a navigation yet because you have to to make a username and subscribe and stuff like that so that's something to keep in mind but uh it might come now the multimedia is here it's very simple multimedia system and it's also very very responsive guys it's much more responsive than before and it's a big screen it's a good uh, resolution and i like the fact that every time you press a button it's just going there really really fast this is information about the vehicle this is the energy flow kind of the same multimedia as i show you on the other models new models 2023 models uh, of the car the, for example corolla cross come with this uh, also uh, the new rav4 will come with this multimedia you can see right here language you can change it um, and it's, it's in general it's quite simple nothing complicated nothing fancy the lights you can change it from here the door controls from here climatic from here utility yeah you know i mean it's, it's just basically simple uh i will make a video and i have a video separate with this multimedia if you want to see it in detail check it out it's already on the channel so guys that was the video i hope i didn't miss something of course as soon as i can i will make a separate video uh with this car test drive all the package as always on my channel so click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out thank you for watching I hope you appreciate my work because I work a lot and it's not that easy to do this uh, review with so many people and so many reviews every day and present the car. So I will really appreciate if you can like, share, subscribe. So thank you again to all of you that are watching my video. So thank you guys. Also, I will leave the link in the description. If you are from Austria, uh, Austria and you want to see the car, you want to buy the car, test drive the car, check the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, ask me down below. Stay safe, yeah, and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.